something and then the best I don't know how because we don't want to light somebody from behind he turns into a sausage but somewhere back there is apparently Paul our drummer Paul nice to a pillow. be nice to see him too I mean you can see Larry and Bruce Lloyd how also played here with Victim's Family and this is Chemo Ball all the way from Maui Hawaii and this is a song called John Dillinger
my favorite riff. It's too good for the rescue. Open fire and we can save! What do you know? Greece is in the news again. Because again, people are getting a little tired of cut, 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 cut. Oh, the country doesn't have any money. We're just going to have to let poor people starve. Only rich people can see a doctor and slowly start giving islands away to German banks as well as selling the Athens airport. And isn't it weird that this has happened all over the world at the same time? And in Europe, we got Spain going down, Portugal going down, Britain going down, Ireland going down. I don't know quite where you are in this, but all this, all, all this bullshit austerity, there's another way to balance the budget and get the money back. Make rich people pay taxes again. That's how. Back just so fucking rich people don't have to pay taxes. That's not even capitalism anymore. That is feudalism. You know, feudalism is the English word for the Middle Ages with the kings and the lords and the high castles and everybody else lives like peasants trying to survive on the other side of the boat. That's what they're doing again. First did this song at the Seattle protests in 1999 about corporate feudalism and it's called, you guessed it, New Feudalism.
right. What I do know is that there have been cunning, conniving, political snakes in this country, as well as many others, who try to get people to vote their corporate austerity gender in by picking on immigrants. And somehow, it's their fault that people are losing their jobs or things not quite right. No, don't be angry at the banks. Be angry at brown people. Be angry at black people. Be angry at Polish people. Whatever. And we got an, obviously we got a problem with that where I come from too. Not just in the state of Arizona, but now we have this guy who spends four hundred thousand dollars a year on his comb over, and suddenly everyone's like, "Oh look, he's running for president, Donald Trump! Isn't he cool?" When he calls Mexicans criminals and rapists and gets away with it. And you let people get away with shit like this, they keep doing it, and somewhere out there, there's somebody nobody knows who takes this shit way too seriously and becomes the next Anders Breivik. That's why we gotta fight this kind of shit one on one. Communicate with people who spelling this shit and tell them why it's wrong in a way that will actually persuade them rather than just doing this, you know? Because otherwise, they're going to spend their time living in this place that gets all these clowns like Miracle and the others elected. It's called Panic Land.
shoe. Show me your bare foot. Oh my god. No, you gotta get off the stage and don't grab onto me. Well, if you find a stray shoe, feed it to. Oh, there it is. Is that your shoe? I was a hippie before punk happened. Let's see if I can get high. Oh, whoa. Are there any other cool, items that you need us to find from the stage? I got more Burning Red Ivanhoe albums than you do. Has anybody lost their car keys or anything? I actually do. What is the biggest problem? Oh, come on. You can keep track of your damn shoe better than that. If I gave you 10,000 kroners, would you lick the bottom of your shoe? Lucky for you, I don't have 10,000 kroners, so some other time. about violence in the hardcore underground scene out on the west coast of the United States where people get up on stage and then jump off and punch somebody in the back of the head then run away like a little chicken shit. And some of them were showing up with racist t-shirts, even like white power and swastika shit going on. And so I thought, you know, these people are acting like a bunch of fucking Nazis. So then, later with this band, we start playing in countries that Dead Kennedys, the real Dead Kennedys, could never play in, like Poland or uh, Croatia or Argentina, where people had fought real fascist dictatorships. They asked us to bring this song back because to them it was a song of liberation, revolution, and fighting real fascists. Well now, in America, besides Donald Trump, we've got all these right-wing fucking assholes with all kinds of money behind them who call themselves the Tea Party. And as I was talking earlier about the anti-immigration crap and anybody starting to think in racist or even fascist Nazi terms, and it's easy to fall into that, just look at the National Front in France. How do you expect people to stop this shit? You don't start a blog that only people who already agree with you are going to read. You sit out and talk to these people. One on one with somebody you know in your family, your home, your school, work. You know what's important to them in your heart. Don't argue. Communicate about why this shit is wrong. If we don't do it one on one, eye to eye, face to face, who will? Yeah. But in here, we can say something else to Donald Trump, to the anti-immigrant right-wing fucking assholes in this country and other places in Europe, we can sure as hell say it to somebody like Anders Breivik and anybody who ever thought like that, or for that matter, that guy from Burzum, too, we'll say this to him, too. Nazi fucks, fuck off! Fuck you, man. Stop. 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 Stop.
is okay well Toto may try again so this is what it is they basically think that they can drill like many kilometers underground then go sideways then inject into the ground all these poisonous chemicals and water you can never use again when it comes back up because it's so fucking poisoned to make earthquakes and then natural gas comes up. Maybe even oil comes up. Places like that right-wing extremist government in Great Britain, they want to frack the whole country, including national parks. Poland? Yeah, come on in. Denmark? Fuck you, get out of our country with that fracking shit. It was because of people power. Demonstrators. Just enough people showing up and blocking the roads. No, you're not going to get away with this. Keep it up, people. The whole world needs to know that finally somebody won against fracking and the oil companies. Thank you. Thank you. Because otherwise... You know what can happen if that stuff just runs amok and there's leaks and explosions? People turn on their water and it comes out and you can set it on fire, which has happened in Pennsylvania. Well, this is what happens.